Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Have you ever had a piece of leatherette or maybe a thin piece of Baltic birch that's got curled edges or maybe it's got a hump in the middle and there's just not a lot that you think you can do? I'm gonna show you a technique today that is gonna make your life a lot easier. We're gonna go into the arrange section in Lightburn and there are some neat little features in there that you might not know about. And we're gonna be able to deal with this piece of leatherette that's got hide bond on it. It's all curled up. No matter if I pin down the edges, it makes the uh, middle hump up. And as we all know, whether it's Baltic birch or leatherette, if you don't have a nice flat surface, you're not gonna get the results that you need. Today, I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to deal with that. Let's go check it out. The first thing I'm gonna do is just get my leatherette or my uh, Baltic birch in the middle of my bed. And <clears throat> just, it doesn't really matter where this is placed right now. We're, I'm gonna show you how to uh, place this exactly as soon as we get into light burn. And I'm just gonna throw a few little magnets down just to get this, these edges kind of down. So when I drive my laser head over to this top left-hand corner, uh, I can drive this back and forth to make sure that my uh, desktop in light burn is synced with my, with my laser bed. We will be using absolute coordinates today. It's the only time or very rarely did I, do I use absolute coordinates but you pretty much have to use absolute coordinates for this process and it works great. So you can see even with the, even with the magnets, um, this piece of cork leatherette has some pretty good memory to it. And so I like to have a, just a number of different size magnets that I can use uh, in order to go ahead and get this done. So we're gonna just get this placed. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into light burn. Um, I'm gonna pull up my design and I'm gonna show you um, a couple of tools. We're gonna find this upper corner, this upper left-hand corner in, uh, in light burn. We're gonna drive the laser head to that. I'm gonna bring the leatherette uh, underneath the red light. We're gonna drive the laser head back and forth a couple of times to make sure that our uh, leatherette is square with our gantry. And then I'm gonna show you how to be able to place magnets throughout this field uh, and ensure that it's not gonna be part of your design. So let's go check that out in Lightburn. So we've opened up Lightburn, we've loaded our design, and what we wanna do, the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna drive our laser head over to this corner. This black rectangle illustrates the piece of 12 by 24 leatherette that I've got uh, just put in the machine right now. We don't have it located. And so, this process is gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, make sure that we're connected and we've got ready status here. We're gonna come over to our laser locator tool. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna zoom into this upper left-hand corner and we are going to click. And when we click, you'll see that your laser head is gonna go ahead and move to that position uh, in the laser bed. Once that stops, you can go ahead then uh, line up your upper left hand corner of your leatherette underneath that red light and move the laser head back and forth to make sure that we're following the top of that leatherette. What that does is that gets uh, the design that you see in light burn synced up with what's actually happening, happening in, in the laser. Okay, I've driven my laser head to where the, uh, where the corner of this leatherette is supposed to be, and so I'm just gonna move the leatherette to this corner, like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just drive this back and forth to make sure that we've got... I'm gonna just drive this back and forth, and you can see that I need to tweak it a little bit. My, Red dot's about a quarter inch down, so I'm gonna hold this corner over here, and I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit until I get it pretty close. And I'm just gonna go back and make sure that I'm, uh, this piece of leatherette is square. If I wanna make sure that that corner is good, I'm just gonna go back to my uh, locator tool and light burn, select the cor upper corner of that, and it is in good alignment. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin down the perimeter of this leatherette. And from there, we'll go ahead and go into light burn and get the middle locations for the magnets. Okay, we've got the perimeter 
um, down and you can see that we've got some bulges in the middle and this is pretty common. Anytime you per, uh, a pin the perimeter as hard as this a leatherette was curled, you can see I've got some pretty good bulge here. Well, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna actually take the laser head and drive it to where the centers of those magnets that I've got illustrated in Lightburn are. And then we'll just take some additional magnets. We'll take these magnets that are around the perimeter and place those. And that way we can hold down this middle area from bulging up and we'll be ready to go. Once we have that all done and we've got the perimeter pinned down, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and generate some, some circles and these circles are the same sizes of those ceramic magnets that I have and what we're going to do is we're going to strategically place those circles in open spots where we're not going to interfere with the engraving of our design and so what I've done is I've just put in four circles here and that should hold that leatherette down and here's where the magic happens. So I've already got my leatherette loaded, the perimeters uh, secured, and so now I want to be able to locate, I want the laser head to go to the center of where this circle is going to be. And this is where, if you know how to use these features, it can be really helpful. So I've selected the circle, I'm going to come up to Arrange, down to move laser to selection and move it to the selection center. When I click on that, um, it's going to actually drive the laser head to the middle of where that magnet needs to be. Once I do that, I'm going to physically take my magnet and center it uh, where the red light is. Once I have the first magnet placed, I'm going to just move around the screen. So all I've got to do is just select my circle, come up to arrange, come down to move laser to selection, move laser to se selection center, and I'm going to place a magnet here in the middle under my red light. I'm going to do the same thing for the other three. And at that point I'm ready to go. I'm, uh, we're all set up and we're going to go ahead and get this engraved. Okay, now I've got all the magnets placed in the voids in my pattern on light burn and I'm ready to go ahead and pull the trigger on starting this engrave but now you see that all of this leatherette is held down nice and flat you don't have any bulges and uh, let's go ahead and get this engrave started Well, as you can see, by using some tools in the Arrange section in Lightburn, you can kind of take it to the next level, meaning that you can go ahead and locate blank areas in your design where you can either place magnets or hold down pins to keep your material flat, whether it's a, a curled up piece of leatherette or a warped piece of Baltic birch. You can use this same process to do both. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you do me a favor, hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you have the ability, hit that thanks button and contribute it to the channel. It's those contributions that make this content possible. Thanks and have a great day.